first of the trades are in. I guess except for Kendall, because Kendall's came um, really early. So I'm going to open this up and show you what I got. Lots of packing peanuts. Sweet. As long as there's no bugs in there. And then this is the package. So yeah, I really appreciate the trades you guys have been doing with me. I um, He pops in and out of the comment sections here and there. A super, super nice guy. And he wanted to help me on my journey to get some tubes completed. Yeah, so here we have two one ounce new style Libertads. This one's a 26, a 2015 and a 2016. It's not a one ounce gold American Eagle random year. So, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it's not that. And then also I had mentioned that I had a bunch of turtles that were all the same year. And so he decided that um, he would be willing to swap me some turtles. So here's 2015. Can't read that one without taking them out. Sorry. So we got a 2014, a 2015, both from New Way, and a 2017, also from New Way. So this gives me um, the whole spectrum of the New Way ones from 14, 15, 16 and 17. Thank you so much. Super appreciate it. Your stuff, um, by the time you see this video, you've already received your trades, and I hope so much that you, um, you like them. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you, and I will move on now. Um, I have a package here, uh, to go along in the trade unboxing video, and this one's from Mostly Outdoors, our, uh, our good friend. And so I'm uh, excited to see what's in there. I got a note. You can read that. Now nah, I'll read it to you. Oh, don't worry, I'll read it to you. Okay, so... Um, Silver Future, thanks for doing this trade with me. I hope you love your end because I sure love mine. Good luck at your coin show, mostly outdoors. So he knows I'm going to a coin show, and I wanted to do some trades before the coin show, so um, I knew how much of different things to pick up, basically. And uh, so yeah, thank you, Mostly Outdoors. Um, what did he send me, you might be wondering. And um, as you guys know, I sent... Alright, so what did Mostly Outdoors send? I just moved so you could actually see whatever the coins are. Um, here's package number one. Oh, that's cool, man. All right, so he sent me like a casing for a gun. I'm not, I don't know much about guns. I've, I've shot uh, some really fun ones, but I don't know much about them past what I've shot. But I got a little mostly outdoors casing thing here. So thanks, man, that's really cool. I'd imagine that's going inside like a rifle of some sort. I got a real nice walking Liberty half from him. That's the nicest one I have by far now. The other ones I have are all real slicked out. But I usually collect junk for junk, not junk for numismatic purposes. But this one is quite amazing actually, thank you. Two more junk pieces. This one's not quite as nice, but this is along the lines of what I usually would buy. So it's cool to get that. Another walker. As you guys know, I'm uh, trying to get up to $140 face in order to be uh, 100 ounces in junk. And then here's a cool Standing Liberty. So I only have one of these quarters. Uh, this will be my second. And the first one my neighbor actually found in his laundry quarter roll, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I bought it from him. Cause I, yeah, you can still have luck coin roll hunting this day and age, which astonishes me that people don't know the value of their coins and they're willing to put them into, back into circulation, you know? 
All right, and then here are the two nice ones. Not that those weren't nice, but here are the two ones I was really interested in. We got a little JM bar. So this is the one when uh, he unboxed it. He accidentally cut, and that's okay because I'm gonna take it out anyways. Uh, just so all you JM fans hate me. Oh no. Oh gosh, he touched it with his hands. Oh dang, that's blinding me. Look, karma right there. I'm being a jerk and then I get blinded. I don't know if, if you can see my face right now. Uh, who knows? But yeah, these are cool. It looks good. It's even serialized. Pretty awesome. Johnson Matthew. And then the other bar is this Engelhard. Engelhard, Engelhard. Also serialized. Dude, these are cool. Thank you so much. These vintage bars, dude. So cool. And uh, I like that they're not disproportionate with one another, so they'll fit in my tube uh, of bars. Jeez, okay, I'm gonna put these down before I go blind, um, and we'll skip over to the next unboxing. Uh, thank you, Mostly Outdoors. Thank you so much, man. Uh, means a lot. Just came out of here. I am so stupidly excited for this. Um, this is an eBay purchase. Yeah. Sorry, I wanted to open it and make sure. Man, these are cool. Okay, I wanted to open this and make sure that it was what I thought it was. Um, yeah, so let's take a look. You guys are gonna love it. Yeah. I don't wanna give you my infos. Oh, did you get a look? All right, you guys recognize that guy? Nigel Thornberry. I'll put a picture of him right here. He's a classic cartoon character, but that's what this guy reminds me of. This is known as a five sucrase. It's a crown sized coin from Ecuador. This one happens to be 1943. Oh my gosh, those chops and that nose. Man. Incredible coin, incredible guy. Incredible looking guy, anyway. I don't really know much about the guy. Maybe he was a jerk, but I heard he's pretty cool. There we go, 25 grams, five sucres, 72% pure. Mexico. Cool. This is an Ecuadorian coin, obviously minted by the Bank of Mexico, or Banco de Mexico. And I am so excited for this. Um, this came from a subscriber. We did a trade. Um, I'm not sure if he wants me to say his name, so I'm not going to, just out of respect. Um, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, lightning speed. Future. Great doing business with you. Keep putting out awesome content and enjoy the money fair. Until next trade, David. There will be a next trade, and um, yeah, you've been a pleasure to work with, bud. I really appreciate the kind words. Um, you know, getting any chance to interact with the community outside of just me posting videos and responding to comments is a lot of fun. So, yeah, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and some quarters, uh, ounces of silver. I got some eagles of different years. Here's a 2001. Another 2001. A 2011. This darker one here uh, is because of its age. It's a 1999. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to have some older years, man. Um, here's another one. This is a 2016 and a 2016. These ones came in capsules too. You didn't have to do that. Um, so yeah, there is uh, seven eagles. And then um, I'm really excited about this because, as you guys know, this is my next tube I'm filling. These are the new school Libertads, the modern day ones with the sleek design. There we go. And as you can tell, this one's a 2013. Very cool. Beautiful. And then here's $3 face in quarters, junk quarters. And the bonus coin is this Canadian Five Blessings coin. Which is really cool. I've seen these, but I uh, I don't have any. 
So this is awesome to get. Thank you so much. And this is the trade that the tie-dyed, it was supposed to be toned, but it ended up looking like tie-dye. Um, that bounty ship, the Cook Island bounty ship coin, it's going to this guy. So as you can see, that's going to be a really big trade. And this was a bonus for bonus type trade. Uh, where he's going to get that god-awful coin. I feel bad because he sent the one he sent me is in great shape. <laughs> the one I'm sending him is like blatantly destroyed. Ooh, look, it looks gold. I don't know why my camera's doing that. There it goes. All right. Um, yes, thank you so much for the trade. I don't want to say your name. I just don't know if you're comfortable with that. But let's move on to the next unboxing here. I've been waiting for a long time for this and I'm sure you guys know who this is from. Um, you may know him as the Don of Metals Mafia or Pit Bullion himself. Um, he's a fantastic guy and I'm super happy to finally have this. This is another one of those bars that I sent silver out and then they would melt it. Um, I would pay them a little extra and then they'd send it back. So this is my silver turned into a bar for me. So Pitt is having a terrible week. He's had a series of unfortunate events happen. And um, even through all of that, he made sure to still, you know, keep his business a high priority, which is not, I don't expect that from anybody, but it's, yeah, it, he, he's a fantastic guy. And I'm really excited to show you what he's made here. Oh, you may have seen a video of a bar like this being poured. He calls them the J-Rod. And it is absolutely huge. It's like a magic wand. Like, oh man, let's take it out. I don't have gloves on, but it's mine now. So this is the J-Rod. This is my hand. It's an average sized hand, I guess. And it's as big as my hand. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Now you could beat somebody down with this if you wanted. You could maybe stir your coffee with it. Or uh, you could use this as a tongue suppressor if you have strep throat. Um, or you could just, uh, you know, treat it like a precious bar, which is what it is. But this was made by Pit Bullion. It's a nine ounce bar. Here we have nine troy ounces, three nine fine silver. Up here we got the Pit Bullion stamp. Absolutely love it. And then on the side here, we have the serial number five, which is really cool. Um, he has one of these for sale right now on his website. Go to uh, Pit Bullion's website. I'll link it in the description below. And you, I believe number one is for sale. So this is number five. I believe number one is for sale. It is uh, also a nine ouncer and it's like the twin to this, basically. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Um, this has been a whole lot of unboxings, but it's better to just throw them all into one video so you guys don't have to like click a new video every day or whatever. And uh, yeah, simply amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, I hope you enjoy your end of the trade, if one of these was a trade uh, for you. Um, anywho, see you guys tomorrow, and uh, Take care, be safe, all of that stuff. Have a great week, guys. Bye. A big package. It's from Amazon, and it's nothing really special, but I wanted to show you what I picked up because you'll see it in some future, some future episodes. I got a Dremel. Cool.